you good at that? Come on. Yeah, Sam, come on. Uh, uh, this is the editor of Circus Design. You can't have a cake for you can. Let that cake go for it. Do you want me to save this for you? Or, or do, you, do you want to save your glass? More now we have to have a speech. Tom and Judy. Tommy. Judy. You're supposed to save this for yourself. So we put it on place. Where do we put it? Here we have the attic of the Wilson homestead which I now believe is Marsh's bedroom. Yep. And in this very place, Tom and I would play toy soldiers of Star Trek um, using blocks of wood as bombs. Me too, dude. And he'd always win. This used to be, oh, it's still a door there. I, used to keep, I, keep, I think that's where all those comic books are. Uh -huh. So I guess there was no best man at this wedding, huh? Which way are you throwing it, Judy? Judy, pick Patricia with the wand. The one is hiding way in the back. Give it a toss. One, two, three. Oh, what a win! Yeah! Yeah! I always have to make a spectacle. Speech, speech. Wow. I got a picture. I'm doing it. 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 Have the day has to help the hell of the day out there. That's what it's true. We gotta get going, cast the last bus back to someone's side. You want me there too? Yes. My shirt keeps rolling up. Oh, We gotta get together okay. soon. <laughs> All right. Oh, you're welcome. My pleasure. Thank you for making it all possible. Oh, it's just uh, <laughs> she said she spread hands, and if she hadn't given permission, I couldn't have married him because he was only 19. <laughs> she has a married friend. I don't. I don't know. I said it has to be. <laughs> Bye bye, Mr. Wilson. Thank you very much. Thanks for coming. Thank you very much. You got the house, but I got the cat. That's right. Five people in the house. And he got the kids of the cat in the house. Such a good story. It's true. I was 
No, she just died last year. I guess that's why it's not going to be the big Look at this. Well, uh, we are the best we Traffic light, make a right. At the next traffic light, make a left. Go up the hill. You'll go under Route 46. As soon as you go under it, make a left, and you're right on the bridge. It's one mile. One mile. One mile. That's if you take Route 46. So you got that mile. There's only one way out of Leonia. It's Port Lee Road. That's a big traffic light. Yeah. Not a traffic light. You're gonna at this corner make a left. At the traffic light, make a right and look at the distance. You'll see another light. When you see that, there are only two traffic lights in Leonia and Broad Avenue. One is Hillside, and the other is Port Lee Road. When you see that light, make a left, go up the hill. You see, this is all the way up, and then once you pass a bridge, you go under a bridge. Right after you go under the bridge, you make a left. There'll be a big sign, George Washington Bridge. No, it's a very small sign. Oh, it's a sign. But see, the way it works is uh, the Palisades are big, you know, mountains. And the Port Lee is on the top and Leone is on the back of the hill. So to get up to the bridge, you have to go up the hill. Big eye for a small sign. No but you find it's very quick, you know. There's one, one mile, two miles to the bridge, but one mile away. But then if they have the tunnel after this, right? If they miss the bridge, they're going to take the tunnel. Oh, yeah, right. Oh, yeah, we have, we have <laughs> and then they have the Gotham Bridge or whatever. Oh, yeah, you Gotham Staten Island, Island. Yeah, exactly. no problem. Yeah, I'll see these across the river. Where's come the worst? Like a person piece, you know? It's been in the paper more like a... You know, the mud lady gets arrested again, you know, and stuff like that, and they've shown pictures of her. And they call the mud lady in the press? Yeah. Her name is 
Marianne something. I can't remember her name. Is. But um, so it's and then they showed her. Um, they wanted to take her off the streets, and she didn't want to. She didn't want to go to the I wonder what he does. Thinks he wants my food. So what do you think of the wedding? Beautiful. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Hello. Hi. This is from Tom's cousin. Tom's Christina. cousin. Okay. He looks wish. just like Becky. <laughs> I Definitely. Wish Tom and Judy a very happy life together. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, Congratulations. Very nice. All right on. I just told Paul that you guys should come down and we'll play a little golf. Golf? Oh, yeah, Paul does like to play golf. Yeah, you're right. Of course, that would be cool. Just for the little afternoon, you like me if you want to get out in the air? Well, I, I can't play. There's no way I would. But you and I, you and I could just hang out and let them go. Oh, Paul, plays. She plays yes. out. Mrs. Wilson? I, I could sit home and eat. Do you have any words for the bride and groom on this little makeshift documentary I'm putting together for them? Well, having been married three times myself, my advice is don't take it too seriously, kids. <laughs> they heard that. Okay, very good. Don't worry about it. Whatever happens, happens. Oh my God. Don't worry about it. Just do your thing. Hey. Ring it. That's it. Sounds good. Words of wisdom. <laughs> What's this puppy's name? What's your name, baby? Pitbull the Lord. Sweetest Pitbull in the world. Thank you for the Well, the party's almost over now, and the, the marriage has begun. How do you guys feel right now? Is it as beautiful a night as I think it was? Yeah. Wow. A kiss tells a thousand words. It's a beautiful night. Now you can start the honeymoon. Yeah. Very nice. East Village honeymoon. <laughs> hey, it doesn't matter where it is, as long as it's from the heart. Bronx. The Bronx would be where? The Bronx would be scary. That's an elegant as long as it's not the Bronx. That's an elegant half a day honeymoon. I have to uh, pop him in this video tomorrow afternoon. I heard him. Was he kidding? No. <laughs> okay, well, you've postponed the honeymoon. Oh, we'll get together. Beijing this summer, right? Yeah, that's beautiful. Good luck to you. Uh, makeshift documentary I'm putting together. Well, 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 let me see. Uh, good luck, Tom. I guess that's about it. Okay, okay good enough. Good. Sounds good. You're great. How's your, how's your career? Career's good. Uh, you guys are going to have a film soon. And here's my second one happening, but uh, everything's going fine. Oh, a handsome couple here. So, Luke, real quickly, you're one of the groom's best friends. Mm -hmm. How do you feel? Are you still nervous about the wedding? You're nervous today, like myself, no, I'm, huh? I'm I'm excited. I'm uh -huh. happy. Uh, I think it's a great thing. I think Tom and Julia would be very happy. I think it's going to mean a lot of changes. Definitely. For Tom's uh, bachelor way of life, but I think he'll uh, he'll t take him or Judy will kick his ass. <laughs> He'll rise to the occasion whether he likes it or not. Exactly. Exactly. And who knows? They may have a kid coming along soon. I I kind of feel that uh, Tom and Judy may have a kid before. Diane and I. Does tonight's marriage uh, make you reflect nostalgically on when you and Diane got I'm married? Sure. It, I mean, it makes me think about that time in New Mexico. We went to the courthouse with about 10 people and got married. And uh, then the reception here, it's that same kind of nervous feeling that I had had at my own reception. It brings back a lot of memories. Uh -huh. You know, it's, it's, uh, it's a major thing. It's when all of your friends and your parents' friends get all together. It's sort of like a social occasion. And Is it romantic at the time, or at the time you're just so too busy dealing in the, with, the, with the details? At and the time, it wasn't very romantic. It, mm -hmm. it seemed more stressful, and sort of I felt like I was performing. Mm -hmm. Tom, Tom seems more comfortable with that performance role. Than I have right, but he does, you know, he's performing, I and mean, he's doing oh, a great sure, job, but sure. it's Tom in social mode. You, you have to play the socially accepted roles of block or right. bride and groom room. It's it's very much a, a social construct ceremony and all of that for all the good that is and all the bad that is too. But here here it seems more good. And everyone's having fun. It's it, definitely a great social occasion. There's a harmony about it. Everyone seems like they're bonding. And it's sort of like you use a social structure comes in together to sort of support you and kind of lift you on your way 
towards a life being married. It's it's important. Whereas like I think people who just get married on their own, say in Las Vegas, they don't have that little extra shove in mm -hmm. to happy matrimonial life. And it's a major change. Right. I think that's why it's a good idea that the reception's in the house. That it makes sense yeah. to me, you know what I mean? Because it's homey. It turns it into, it is homey. It's, it, it's a social engagement, but it's like happening where the home is, you know? And there's an intimacy about that. And it has a, a certain continuum for Tom, at the least. It's where he was, grew up and raised and went through a lot of his major life changes, just like for me. We Us were, too. Yeah, we were, it, we, we, Diane and I had a reception here in Leonia, so it's kind of like, you know, you're moving on. You know, it's interesting. Any last words for the bride and groom? Uh, good luck. I wish them only the happiest life in, in their new new relationship together. It takes a lot of compromises. It's uh, a lot of fun. It's, it's, um, it's not all peaches and cream. There are some hard times and uh, who you love the most is also sometimes who you hate the most. And that's also part, part of the whole relationship and it's part of the strong, the yin-yang thing that holds you together. I agree. And, uh, and it's very intense and, and uh, you need to sort of learn to go with the flow of that. I couldn't say it better myself, Luke, bride and groom. What, here? Uh, yeah, right. Here? That's a Zoom. Yeah, it's already recording. Oh. Live long and be prosperous. It's a wonderful occasion, and uh, that's it. <laughs>